Here we go. I'm gonna feed her a cricket and she should eat this one. All right, guys, let's do this. You ready? We're gonna feed her. Let's hope she eats this time. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this cricket, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, go this way, oh, oh no, the cricket got away, oh no, oh my gosh, <laughs> no, I'm so sorry, okay, let's try feeding another one, that was a male, so that's gonna be singing all night now, I don't want to put in another a female now, because now that the male is in there, they might breed. I'm gonna put in another male. I'm so sorry, Azula. You were not quick enough. Okay, let's try again. Here, I'm gonna try to like partially scald it. There. Okay, ready guys? Let's try this again. Oops, now I scared it. Come on, Azula. This one is injured. Yeah. There we go, she ate it. See how fast that was? She's eating it now. All right. Oh my God, there it is. Try to get it. I'm gonna try to coax it out. This is the problem when you have too much decor. The prey can hide in more places. Got it, got it, got it. I'm gonna partially injure this one too. Where are my tweezers? She's a beautiful tarantula though, no? All right, here we go. You can have two. Go. Oh, okay, I'm gonna leave that. She'll eat that later. I'm gonna put the cover on. There we go. All right, bedtime. Okay, it's bedtime, I know. Time to sleep, all right. Okay, come on, guy. She flew, missed, and fell on the floor. Time to sleep. Time for sleep, sleep, sleep. Yes. She's ready, she's like, I'm ready to go to bed. I had a long day. Sure did. Got a new baby brother. Mm-hmm. Gotta sing to her now. I had it all, and I let it slip away. Couldn't say I treated you wrong. Now I'm wandering round, feeling down and cold. I still can't believe that you're gone. Love takes time to heal when you're hurting so much that I was blind. To let you go, I can't steal the pain inside. Cause love takes time. I don't wanna be here. No, I don't wanna be here alone. Good morning, Mobile High Squad. Yes, all right. So, if you saw our vlog yesterday, you'll know that a new family member has joined the menagerie of animals under my care. Just kind of unexpected. A chameleon, a baby veiled chameleon. Unreal, and this thing's eating so much. First of all, yesterday afternoon, all those roaches that I put in its bowl, all gone. And then I put like five little baby roaches, all gone. Now I'm gonna add some lettuce, pieces of lettuce. These. Uh, chameleons, which you're gonna see in a bit, uh, are omnivorous and I'm gonna try to get it used to eating veggies while it's young. It also helps them drip, uh, obtain water because these lizards don't really drink from a bowl. There you go. Yeah. Nice veggies. All right, so Ate Elsie moved the tank here on this side, which is actually better because I can plug it into the various uh, sockets there and put it on timer along with the rest of the ant room. Now I'm gonna put the veggies in here, right here. Here we go, some delicious veggies for ya. And if you look carefully, this chameleon is right there. You see it? Blending masterfully among all of this decor. Oh, is he going down? I think he is, I think he wants veggies. He's been craving for some veggies. I hear ya, I'm going through the same phase. Now guys, what should we name this chameleon? At 
this point, we don't know if it's male or female. The males develop like a sort of spur, like a little bump on their hind legs, like on the ankle part of their legs. Um, personally, I hope this is a male because for me, males just look cooler. They have a larger cask, which is that big like shield-like thing on its head. Um, and the colors, for me anyway, are much cooler, like the colors and the patterns. But if she is female, of course, we will love her just as as much and females can turn some beautiful colors as well oh this lizard is going for the veggies this is awesome see what a healthy appetite now watch its tongue guys oh see that isn't that amazing see that tongue all right sorry i didn't mean to freak you out but it does look like he has an interest in the veggies which is great could you imagine having a tongue that long seriously it just shoots out it catapults out there we go Oh, he ate. Oh, there was a roach. Oh, okay. I did put one roach in there as well. I forgot to say. Okay, but are you gonna eat the lettuce? Go on. Don't be shy. Eat your veggies. Now, the lettuce and the veggies are dusted with a reptile calcium, which doesn't have vitamin D3 in it or vitamin A because these lizards will uh, manufacture their own vitamin D3 uh, by basking in the specialized lighting. Mm-hmm. Up there. Um, I also do plan to expose the lizard to natural sunlight in the mornings they aren't really the best lizards for handling on a regular basis um, I mean they'll tolerate it and as you saw in yesterday's vlog this one is totally okay with me being around and me handling it etc um, and they can get used to handling but I mean they don't crave it unlike Ligaya who craves me scratching her and you know they're best just left as like a display animal. You see that? And I just love, love the skin. Look at that skin. It can change color, it can change patterns. You guys should see the turquoise and the greens and the yellows and the blacks and the whites that these lizards can turn. It's, it's just fantastic. So what do you guys say? What should we name this chameleon? Leave in the comments and then uh, we'll vote in the future. I'd also like to thank Zoomed. Um, and Reptilab, which is the reptile store um, that sponsored this entire setup and the lizard just out of nowhere. I didn't like I didn't even ask. I guess the manager or the owner of the store, Eugene, was like, OK, I'm going to sponsor you. You can have this lizard because I mean, I was saying how I loved chameleons and he was just so kind. Thank you, Eugene. And thank you, Reptilab. And thank you, Zoomin, uh, for this new member of our family. It's so neat. Look at how it moves, guys. It's so, so cool. It, you'll notice that it kind of sways back and forth as it moves. And this helps it kind of mimic a leaf blowing in the wind. Just imagine in the wild, like a branch blowing in the wind. And then this lizard kind of moving back and forth like that to kind of obscure its outline. You won't be able to find it. Praying mantises do the same thing, if you guys have seen praying mantises. Now, eventually, I would like to house this chameleon in a larger setup. When I had my chameleon, my male, Zeus, and female, Aphrodite, um, those chameleons pretty much had free roam of my entire bedroom. Now, in case you didn't see the last vlog, um, I had turned my bedroom into essentially one large biodome. I had trees growing in there, a little mini waterfall. The, the bedroom was hot and stifling. And this was back in Canada. This is the kind of weird stuff I did as a teen. With like huge branches and live trees everywhere. And I had all my aquariums of like tarantulas, giant cockroaches, giant millipedes, snails, lizards, everything, amphibians in that room. So I basically heated and hydrated that entire room, humidified it, etc. And then these two chameleons I had, had free roam of the entire room. Now, I want to eventually get there with this chameleon because it said that chameleons should be housed in like mesh enclosures or enclosures that have a lot of ventilation going on. Um, so eventually I will graduate from this setup, this amazing setup that Eugene gave me um, on behalf of uh, Zoomed and Reptilab uh, to that kind of setup, either a whole room access or maybe just a plant like an open concept plant that it can, you know, crawl around and can't really escape off. And I find that worked best for my chameleons. My chameleons grew until old age and then finally died maybe seven years, eight years later. Um, and I'm hoping, yes, I'm hoping this chameleon will eventually have access to the aviary. Hey, 
if uh, the birds leave it alone or if I can somehow section off its own area in the aviary, maybe it could just live in the aviary um, of the future Mabuhai Squad home. Who knows? We'll see. Otherwise, it will have to live in the ant room. Um, but I'm excited. Yes, it, it's doing really well. He is eating, which is great because usually lizards go through an acclimation process where they get really stressed and they don't want to eat and, you know, it's kind of stressful for the animal. But he seems to be doing okay. I mean, based on his color, he's kind of brown and darkened, so he's a little stressed, but not stressed enough to go off feed, which is great. I'm just gonna like leave him alone as much as I can now. Mm -hmm. And guys, I'm happy to say the room, thanks to Ate Elsie, is finally clean, yeah, of all that junk from like these past few days because my ultimate project for the next Ants Canada video is epic! Now I don't know if the next Ants Canada video will be out by the time you guys watch this but I wish I could show you. Oh my gosh, it finally worked. No longer failed. Mm -hmm. See guys, I can't show you but oh my gosh, it's so cool. Trust me, the cool one of the coolest things I've ever done in a long time. Mm -hmm. No spoilers. Hey Gaia, good morning. Gaia, good morning. Yay. Oops. I'm sorry. Alright. Come, come, come. Step up. Good girl. Alright. Say good morning to my boy squad. Good morning. Always a good morning when you're with me, the guys. Mm -hmm. Alright. Time to make the guys breakfast with veggies and fruits. Mm -hmm. Today on the menu, she's got calamansi, which is like a small Asian citrus. She likes it. Yes. All right, next we got okra. Mm -hmm. This is still good, still crispy. By the way, all of this is washed with, with salt water. Don't gotta worry about anything. Ooh, okra slimy. It's coming, the guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got papaya here, complete with seeds because she loves these little seeds. She loves papaya. Papaya is very high in calcium, along with other things. It doesn't smell the best on her breath, though. <laughs> That's one thing I've noticed. Yes, it's coming. Sheesh. She sounds like me asking my mom to hurry up after cooking. Speaking of my mom and my dad and my brother, they are currently um, on a Holy Land tour. Yes, it's uh, it was my Christmas gift to them, um, and they left uh, several days ago now. And it's been quite an adventure so far, as you've been seeing in the vlogs. So here's more footage of them on their trip. Let's watch. So now that the Gaia is fed, it's time to feed the little guy. Mm -hmm. Reptilian lizard friend. More roaches. Mm -hmm. I really hope he's eating his veggies. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can coax him to eat from the bowl, like while we're holding it. Oh, it looks like he's coming. 
Yes. Yes. It's like, give me them roaches. Give me them roaches. Oh, you see that? Oh, uh, here you go, have some more. Wow, isn't that cool? Now the roaches are, of course, are dusted with um, calcium, uh, just to give them that extra boost. Now another thing you could do is to feed them calcium rich vegetables and fruits. I look forward to feeding this lizard dark leafed veggies like broccoli leaves. Ate Elsie hasn't brought um, broccoli this week so I haven't been able to give broccoli but the dark leaf veggies are usually really really good for them. High in calcium. Part of the reason why these lizards need oops, extra calcium is because that one's quite large. Okay, I think I think he's done after this. The reason why they need extra calcium um, in their diet is because in captivity, natural sunlight isn't uh, optimal. Like it's usually not available as available as say like a wild lizard. And so a lot of captive reptiles and lizards tend to have uh, calcium problems because of low vitamin D3. Mm -hmm. Even if you have artificial lights that provide UV uh, to help them produce vitamin D3, it still doesn't compare to natural sunlight. I'm still trying to figure out a plan on how I can expose this little one to like natural sunlight during the day. I mean, of course, in the Mabuhai squad country home, this won't be a problem. Okay guys, seriously though, this lizard is looking purple to me. Honestly, like I've never seen a veiled chameleon be purple. But panther chameleons, yes. But veiled chameleons, this color? Wow, it's like a brownish purple right now. Awesome color. So now that he's eaten, he's going to bask uh, so he can digest his food. You see, right under the spotlight. Um, they need the heat to digest, right? So he's just gonna be there for a bit and warm up. Full belly, yes little one. Guys, what an appetite, he's going for more. Go, go. Oh, so hungry. Awesome. This is great. Oh, and the last one. All right. Enjoy, my child. Enjoy. Relish those roaches. I have such satisfaction watching our babies eat. So, Lagaya and I are heading to a special place and on this constant quest to get Lagaya used to like new things, new experiences, all of this, I have something really kind of fun planned. Now, Lagaya has done this back when she was just a little chick, but now as an adult, this may be a little different and she may be a little freaked out. But I have faith in her. I'm sure she can handle this. All right? The Gaia, be brave, okay? This is part of your desensitization and um, culturing, <laughs> I guess. So that you can be a confident bird and not be phobic of everything and start plucking your feathers later in life. Confidence. All right, my Buhai squad. And now, the guy and I are about to do this. Check it out. 